Hi, I'm Mike Wotrowski. I work with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. I'm the Facilities and Lands Administrator, which means I manage the Fish and Wildlife Department's fishing access areas. And I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes today about our program and what the department offers to people who want to get out and recreate on Vermont's waterways. So we're going to take you through the new Fish and Wildlife Department uh, app called Vermont Outdoors. And so here we go. Using the sandwich bar up in the top right, you can look at the variety of different kind of tiles that we have. So you can buy your licenses online. You can find maps, reporting, hunting and fishing information, publications. There's even a share my location if you get lost in the woods. So we'll start with some maps and then we'll go from there. So probably the coolest feature that the Vermont Outdoors app has is the master map click on that and you come up here to this icon, you can find all the visible layers that you can search for. We'll check out uh, bait fish dealers. So click on bait fish dealers, then click off of the map and you'll get a map of the state and all the different bait fish dealers. If we want to go back to the master map, I'll just show you real quick. You can click on boat ramps and all the boat ramps come up. So if you want to find an access area or boat ramp, there are two different ways you can search. So we have an alphabetical list of every access area that Fish and Wildlife has, all 196 of them. So we can scroll down and let's check out Center Pond. It tells you Center Pond is in Newark in Caledonia County. It, can, it tells you what sort of boat you can launch uh, at this access, the type of gravel, uh, the type of ramp, it's a gravel ramp. It's a small parking lot, only enough for five trailers. Uh, doesn't have a dock. We don't plow this in the winter time. And then it gives you a couple other little details like the lake area and the maximum depth. If you don't know where you want to go fishing or boating, you can use this map. And you just know it's somewhere in the western side of the state. So let's check out the western side of the state. And you can see our blue dot there at Shelburne Pond. So we're gonna say that Shelburne Pond is too busy. There's nowhere to park. So we're gonna go over to Charlotte and see what's over there. So this gives you some information. Again, it's on Lake Champlain. That's the water body. The town is uh, Charlotte, the county is Chittenden. And then you can scroll down and you'll eventually see the access name is Converse Bay. Again, you can get directions. We can click on that real quick and it'll tell you how to get from wherever your current location is uh, based on the GPS in your phone and we'll get you all the way to that access area. Under fishing regulations, there's a variety of different ways to find the same regulations. So depending on what you're comfortable with, um, let's start with the first one under the current location. Um, if you're not sure where you wanna go, um, you can search within 10,000 feet or almost two miles so um, any regulations that come up, it's uh, going to present them at the bottom. We're here today at Shelburne Pond. So the only regulations that we see are for Shelburne Pond. So let's open that up. You can view the regulation. It's going to give you some information about your location and the, the boat access and what you can do on this water body, um, the bait fish zone. And then it shows you that any fish that are uh, open for catching um, are under the general regulations. You can scroll down and then you eventually get to the ice fishing regulations and you have um, all the different uh, bag limits or sorry, creel limits. And if we back out of that, we can go to the fishing regulations map and under this map, you can do a few different things here. So if we Go up to the search bar and we search, let's say, Mirror Lake and hit search. Mirror Lake is going to come up and you can look at the fishing regulations for Mirror Lake. And this table should look pretty familiar. It's um, the ones that we have in our lot digests. So you can check out what species you can catch. Again, it appears that everything is under general regulate. We'll go to select a water body. So let's look at the bat and kill and we'll search the bat and kill. And so you have a couple of different regulations depending on which town you're in. So um, let's click on this bottom one that is in the town of Manchester, Dorset and Arlington. 
in, you'll see some special regulations, but also notice at the very top, the section description, it's going to detail what reach of the bat and kill these regulations apply to. So from Depot Street Bridge uh, on Route 11 and 30 in Manchester to downstream side of US Route 7 in East Dorset. So this is where these special regulations will apply. It even tells you that there's aquatic nuisance um, disease, uh, whirling disease, um, and then you've got your special regs, and then again, um, all the general regs. And once again, if there are special regs, they'll be highlighted at the top in yellow above the general regulations, and those supersede any general regulations. So you can also check out some things that these arrows here in the top right will actually be redirecting you back to our website. So you can find some popular fishing spots in Chittenden County or some state parks that have uh, good fishing opportunities. We also have family friendly fishing spots. Um, again, this is going to take you out to um, our website rather than having something embedded directly in the app. But you can select the site, Marshfield Reservoir, and Marshfield Reservoir comes up and then this will take you out to our Fish and Wildlife Department website and you can check out Marshfield Reservoir and Cabot and find some information about some family friendly fishing opportunities. Mm -hmm.